You're listening to the most authentic place in sports. It's the Sports Headline Show. Here are your hosts, Sean Davis and Warner Sanker. What is going on, everybody? We are back after 2023. Sean Davis and Warner Sanker. To get things off for you, it's the NFL playoffs. We're about to go through our playoff pictures. It's here, the playoff time. Like when they just passed a lot of offensive coordinators are getting attention for head coaching positions that are recently vacated. But we're going to talk about the good teams today, and that's going to start off with our playoff uh, bracket predictions um, as we as we go through the AFC and the NFC and, and pick a Super Bowl champion. Um, Sean, maybe a hot take in here, but honestly, I, I feel like the playoffs are – a lot more straightforward than the regular season, probably because we've had 17 games from each team or almost just about 17 games from each team um, to kind of watch them and, and predict how they, how they're going to perform here in the in the next month. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, I think there's, I think we got a pretty good idea of who's like a contender now or not. I think you got four teams in the AFC and we'll talk about this in a sec. I think you got four teams in the AFC who could make a Super Bowl run. We look at the NFC side of things here. I think you only got three teams, if that, <laughs> that could really make a run. And that third team, like you're pushing it, in my opinion. I think in the NFC, you got the Eagles and the Niners that for sure can make a run and could win it all. In the AFC, you got the Chiefs, obviously, the Bengals, the Bills. I think the Chargers are another team that could make a run. In the mm-hmm. NFC, I just don't trust the, the Vikings enough, and I don't trust the Cowboys enough either. I mean, I've seen a couple of Bucks like, takes. But I, I don't trust them to score. That's been their biggest thing all year long. They can't put points on the board. But before we dive into all of that, really quickly, a quick reminder, please do subscribe right here to the Sports Headline Show's YouTube channel. Ring that post notification bell as well. And this will be uploaded on podcasting platforms. So please do give us a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever it is you listen to your podcast. And also, make sure you guys, if you guys are going to any playoff games this uh, postseason to watch some playoff football, you need tickets. You're gonna to want to use SeatGeek. Use promo code Sport Ten Lines to get fifth uh, to get sorry twenty dollars off your first purchase of fifty dollars or more. There we go, Sean. Um, use promo code Sport Ten Lines again. SeatGeek, the number one ticketing service out there. Warner used it a couple of times already. SeatGeek is awesome. Shout out to them. And uh, yeah, also as well, if you want exclusive NBA and NFL draft content and more, go over to our Substack page, SportsLinesPodcast.substack.com. All right. Enough talking. Let's get into the nitty gritty of this playoffs, Warner. And where do you, where do you want to start off first? Let's let's go over uh, each team we think can win this thing. I mean, you 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 briefly mentioned it. Uh, some hesitations about the Vikings, the Cowboys, uh, and the Bucks. Um, first off, I mean, let's just go. Let's go by seeding. Let's start with the NFC. Do the Seahawks have any remote chance in your eyes at making the championship game? No, not 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 a chance. Because let's say hypothetically they win this game, you have to go to Philly. No, you're not beating San Fran and Philly, and then probably well, you said the champ, the NFC Championship game. No, you're I don't. No, you're not beating both of them. You, it's a divisional game, and in my opinion, it's super super hard to beat a divisional opponent three times in one year. Like you have to be a special kind of team to do that. So I think that game, a little preview ahead of the preview, I think that game's going to be a little bit closer than people imagine because the third time around, it's going to be harder to beat them three times. But no, I don't think Seattle has any shot in the world to get to the NFC Championship game. Cool story, yeah, though. And, and, and if they were if we, if they were that good of a team, they would not be the seventh seed right now. So yeah. I agree with you. They'd be in probably more position like the Cowboys uh, with the yeah. double-digit wins and, and – um, Posted at the five seed. And Let me say this I'm right not quick. Sure, I'm not sure um, betting wise, Vegas wise, but are the Cowboys favored in this game? That is a great question. Uh, let me check on that. But um, I do want to uh, say this really, really quickly. Honestly, I like C- Seattle's chances against any of the other uh, yeah. home walk card teams. Like I Seattle was just, gets. I was just about to say that if they were not the set, if they were five or six, they honestly probably would win. Uh, win their game. I, if I were to put money on it, if I had to put money on it, I'd, I'd pick Seattle to take that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I agree. It's just a really improbable run. You've got to go 
to San Fran, which isn't necessarily unfamiliar, but then to Philadelphia. You know those Eagles fans are going to be jacked up um, for for hosting a playoff game in the second round. Um, next team, the underdogs, the Giants. New York Giants, the G-Men getting back into the playoffs. Uh, Brian Dable has really uh, really turned this team around. Um, Sean, they're, they're going to Minnesota. And uh, say it with me, skull. 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 Well, yeah. A little bit of a lag there. But, uh, but uh, I think the Vikings, honestly, are going to come out hungry. Uh, they didn't really have much of a week 18. You know, uh, their, their seating was already locked in. And uh, there's got to be a bitter taste in the mouths of especially Justin Jefferson, but that entire Vikings team after week 17 losing to Green Bay. Um, you know, the Vikings have been a, extremely, uh, I'd say, lucky and inconsistent. Uh, uh, the name fraud has been has been thrown around a lot, but I think the, the Giants are, if you will, bigger frauds than the Vikings. I, I have the Vikings probably taking this game. Yeah, um, again, a little preview out of the preview. I think there are two teams that are upset watch, um, really in the whole playoffs. I think it's the Vikings, and I think it's uh, Dallas, because I think Dallas is probably the favorite for that game. Um, Minnesota, first off, I think that game's going to be close regardless. I don't trust Minnesota to win a, a two-possession game uh, more than I trust myself to have a half-court shot. Uh in three tries. So basically I'm saying, I don't think it's going to happen. I think Minnesota might win this game, but I think the Giants are going to hang in there. Daniel Jones has actually showed something this year. Saquon Barkley, a healthy Saquon Barkley um, has been awesome. Um, and, you know, um, they, they got some dudes. They got a pretty all right roster, especially with some of these guys coming around. They got a, a, some guys on the offensive line. Andrew Thomas, again, solidifying himself as a really, really good uh, tackle. It, Probably, if it wasn't for Tristan Wirfs, like, insane rookie year, we'd be talking about Andrew Thomas as the best tackle of that draft class. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, they got some guys. Brian Dable's done a heck of a job in New York. Um, I think that's going to be a close game, and we'll talk about that a little more in depth in just a sec. Yeah, and let's, let's preview the AFC side uh, briefly here. Obviously, Chiefs have got to be favorites for the Super Bowl, locking in that one seed, the Bills as well, and the Bengals. Uh, you mentioned the Chargers. You think that's the only wild card team that can possibly make a run here for the Lombardi? Yeah, the Chargers are getting healthy at the right time. Um, literally, Rashawn Slater. Oh, is, Mike Williams, right? Mike Williams is going to play, um, but like he he's playing. Um, Keenan Allen's back now. Joey Bosa in limited snaps, limited snaps last game because they didn't need him to play that much. But limited snaps, he was off. He had five pressures on eleven pass rush snaps. That's insane. Um, yeah, he's back. So, yeah, Joey Bosa's back. You win this week, you should be able to get Rashawn Slater back by the, the second round game, potentially against Kansas City, which would likely be the matchup, potential spoiler there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they got the quarterback play. They got the defense that is clicking at the right time. Um, I don't really talk about that Broncos game as much, man. You weren't playing nobody in the second half. Uh, but, like, the, that four-week stretch right before that Bron- the last game of the year, the defense was firing on cylinders. Now you're adding Joey Bosa back to that defense. Um, Derwin James. Asante Samuel Drew, Michael Davis made big time plays. Um, I think the Chargers are the only team that's a wild card that could even make an NFC ch- uh, or like a conference championship run. Even I think they're the only team that could even do that. All right, uh, last quick, uh, last thing before we go in depth here into the NFC, Dolphins. If Tua plays in the playoffs, do they have a shot at uh, an AFC championship run? AFC championship? No, they have a shot to be Buffalo. And that's because they played them tight when Tua was healthy. Um, they beat them. They beat them the first time, I think, actually. And then they lost by third by a field goal in Buffalo. They played them tight this year. Um, they have a shot. But, like, again, similar situation to Seattle. You'd have to go I into Buffalo. I mean, go. a high-powered offense, a kind of questionable quarterback, and you've got a division rival as the two seed. You're playing them tight, but then you got to go to the juggernaut. At number one with a fully rested rested roster, um, I would agree with you there. It's it's got to be it's going to be a really tough road uh, to beat Buffalo and Kansas City, and we don't even know if two will play. Um, yeah. But yeah. with that being said, let's click on over to the NFC. Um, here's how it's looking right now, Sean. Let's start up top: Minnesota Vikings, New York Giants. What do you have here? 
I'm gonna be I'm gonna pick the safe pick here, I guess, and, and go with the Vikings. My gut is so much telling me though the Giants are gonna win a playoff game and more than likely travel to Philadelphia. Um, that's what my gut wants to say, but I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna go with the Vikings, Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson to continue what's been a really special season for them. Um uh, so I guess we'll go with the Vikings, but my God, I would not bet any money on this game. Oh my God, I would not bet any money on this game. They lock in a second round matchup. Uh, let's go down to Dallas visiting Tampa Bay. Um, Dak Prescott has looked absolutely putrid in his last few starts. Wonderful uh, out the big words here. Tampa Bay, though, has not been able to score. Probably going to be a def- defensive slugfest. You follow me on that? Yeah, I think if it turns into a defensive slugfest, I think that favors Tampa. I think that yeah. favors Tampa. And I'm curious what your thoughts on this was. Cause I picked Tampa, but we had some little back and forth. What, what, what What's your pick here? My personal pick, I would go with Tampa to knock off the Cowboys. But I wonder, wonder what you're thinking here. Well, you know, the Cowboys should be favored because, I mean, Dak Prescott is being paid like a Super Bowl winning quarterback. He's getting $40 million a year, for goodness sakes. Um They've got that high-powered defense. I, I couldn't stop thinking about Micah Parsons uh, on, on one side and Demarcus Lawrence on the other side and Levi on Wuzurike going up against a really banged-up Bucks uh, O-line. Robert Hainsey, the second-string center, uh, got hurt. Um, uh, then I started thinking about the Bucks defense and and the secondary and, and the linebacker group and Vita Vea and, and – uh, Joe Tryon, Troyanka, and, and Shaq Barrett. And I, I just thought to myself, man, you know, Dallas should win this one, but they're they're just not going to. Um, they're, they're not – it's not going to happen. Um, so I, I think Tampa's going to win this. Tom Brady's going to come down. The Bucs have looked very, very good in two-minute offense, which I think heavily favors them uh, because Dallas – uh, you know, I, I just don't trust Dak Prescott with how he's played as of late. And if you want to talk about – Good t- or playing well as of late. The, the Bucks offense has played quite well as of late, uh, more to kind of what we would accustom them to. Um, but I, I think it's going to be a defensive game. It's going to be a game of passing the football, and I think the the Bucks are going to come out on top, probably honestly with a with a two minute drive to end it. Wow! So Warner called me crazy in our text messages when I gave him my picks, and now he's come over to the dark side and agreed with me and picked the Bucs. So we have the Bucs match up with the Eagles, which only means one thing. San Francisco, spoiler alert, San Francisco beats the Seattle Seahawks. Nothing much to really talk about here except for the fact, like I said, I think this will be a closer game than some people might be anticipating. Um, more so because, like I said, third time these two divisional rivals are matching up, it's always going to be tough. I uh, wonder where we, where we going first here for the divisional round. Well, start up top again, Eagles. Looking to tee off on this uh, Tampa Bay uh, defense, really, uh, with Jalen Hurts coming back after missing a lot of time. Um, I believe he was limited in Week 18, didn't play the entire game, but they got him back. C.J. Gardner-Johnson's back. Uh, You know, guys are getting healthy for this team. I think they're hitting it in stride at the right time. Uh, I I would say Eagles all the way here. Eagles. This is going to be a big game, though. I'm really interested to watch this one. You know, the rematch of that wild card game last year where Jalen Hurts kind of got exposed, but this is a different Jalen Hurts, and this Eagles offense. Entirely different. This Eagles offense can literally just beat you in 85 different ways. First off, they have guys that can beat press and went went at the line of scrimmage with, I mean, you had Devontae Devontae last year, but he was the only guy out there, and you could, uh, you know, show more, uh, you know, different brackets and stuff like that, coverages to slow him down. But now you got A.J. Brown, a top 10 wide receiver. Jalen Hurts is just progressed as a passer, getting through his read, being more patient in the pocket. And, you know, I, I don't really think the Bucks' complex coverage schemes are going to bother him as much. Um, and I think they're going to try to contain him and make him a pocket passer. And I think this year Jalen Hurts could do that. And they can also just run the ball like none other, even without Jalen Hurts. So I agree with Philly. This is going to be the interesting game, though. Minnesota and San Fran in San Fran. For Kirk Cousins' sake, let's not hope this isn't the night game. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you can say that one. In. Although I would, I would assume that it would probably get the night game, um, just because Justin Jefferson, San Francisco, uh, with all their playmakers. Um, but 
I think you've got to go Niners here. Uh, I think the Vikings offense is a bit too inconsistent. The Niners defense is too good to be a bit too inconsistent, but, uh, you know, sporadic in games, not just week to week. Um, and, and the Vikings can't really run the ball too well, uh, which I think is going to hurt them because that's going to let guys like Nick Bosa just tee off on Kirk Cousins. I don't care how good of a season Christian Derrissaw has had. Bosa should be the defensive player of the year. And um, I think I think everyone's going to see why come playoff time. Um, as for the Niners, is Debo Samuel going to be back? I mean, you might want to check on that one, Sean. Although, to be honest, I don't think it's really going to matter too much here in the first two rounds. They've got Christian McCaffrey. They've got George Kittle. Even Brandon Ayuk uh, would probably be a number one receiver on five to eight teams, five to ten teams here uh, in the NFL. Um, they, they're just loaded with weapons. I think the only question is, how does Brock Purdy handle the Vikings' defense? Um, safe to, uh, lucky for, for them, though, Vikings' defense hasn't looked too stout um, necessarily. Patrick Peterson has been a stud for him this year, which I think is unexpected. Uh, I don't think a lot of people expected him to be as good as he's been. Um, but, you know, Daniel Hunter, Zedaria Smith, if they can mix up uh, coverages and, and or uh, throw stunts at Purdy, I think it will slow him down. But in the end, I think we're going to see just the Niners playmakers win the day here for, for San Francisco. I agree. And let's move on here to the NFC Championship game clash between the two teams that we highlighted at the beginning there. I think are the only two uh, shots for an NFC team to win the Super Bowl this year. Eagles 49ers. We, we had some conversations in our text group chat, Warner, and I said, San Fran, I think it's the best team in football except for one team when they're healthy, and that is the Philadelphia Eagles. Give me the Eagles to represent the NFC. Listen, I, I don't think the Niners have faced a quarterback like Jalen Hurts this year. And, again, it's not like Jalen Hurts from last season where he's kind of more of a one-dimensional quarterback and you can kind of force him to be that that passer of the football. Warner, this might come off as disrespectful, and, and I don't mean it in any way. The guy I'm about to reference is the MVP winner. But Jalen Hurts might be a better passer of the football right now than Lamar Jackson. Or basically, Jalen Hurts is a passer, and the progress he's made already from year two to year three is what people think Lamar Jackson is. No, that's what Jalen Hurts is. Jalen Hurts, as a passer, is better than Lamar Jackson. So, again, no disrespect thrown to the former MVP who's, who should rightfully get his bag. But mm-hmm. and, and watch Jalen Hurts on stink up the bed um, <laughs> after I say that. Right. But, um, they got the playmakers. That defense is opportunistic. They got the best offensive line in football. Lane Johnson, yeah. he's going to That's play. what it's going to come down to. They can run the quarterback power. They can run a, a, run, a, a halfback power. They can uh, run inside, outside zone. They can run sweeps, tosses, uh, draws. I mean, they can run anything, read options, and then you throw the passing game off of that. Um, if I think if the Eagles get ahead – in really any of the games they play, if they get ahead against Tampa Bay, I think it'll be a long run, night. Run down the clock, and uh, same with San Francisco as well. Especially with considering Brock Purdy uh, is probably going to start for them, um, and and I think his inexperience is going to hurt them when it comes to this veteran defense that the Eagles are bringing out. Not many rookies starting on the defense, and when you throw around, around names like Darius Slay. C.J. Gardner-Johnson on the back end. James of that defense. Bradbury has been a James stud for him this year. James Bradbury as well, uh, and then on the on the you know front side, Milton Williams has had a great year. Hassan Reddick has been phenomenal for this team, uh, and you know you got mainstays like Fletcher Cox. Um, their defensive tackle group is amazing. Jordan Davis is honestly the only really really notable rookie, and and he's not even a full time player uh, for this team. So. I think the Eagles are just so stacked and barring any significant injury, then they're they're pretty much on a, a tough but clear run to the Super Bowl. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's move over to the AFC side of things here. We got a couple of interesting matchups. Um, all right, Warner, where are we starting off here? Same thing, uh, Dolphins-Bills, or where are we starting off? Bengals-Ravens. Ravens, top down here. Um, definitely a game the Ravens could win. The Bengals have not been consistent at all in their last two games in the second half, but uh, come playoff time, uh, you know, I think we're closer to seeing the Joe Burrow of last year against the Ravens for 500 yards and five touchdowns or whatever that said. Maybe it was four touchdowns, but um, I, I think the Bengals are ready to turn up here come come playoff time, and they're going to beat the Ravens here uh, next week. 
Bengals are winning this game. I know I just what I just said about well, I'll, wait, the Ravens won the first game of that series anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Bengals are I winning this game. Yep. Um, yeah, not not much analysis here. I trust I Joe Burrow. Say, Lamar Jackson is back, but how good will he look? Lamar's back officially. I thought they were saying they weren't even sure yet. I okay. So what uh, what I took it as is rest him, rest him week eighteen because the game doesn't matter too much in terms of seating um, and save him for for the wild card round. That's what that was my understanding. He could face another setback if he doesn't play. Game's not going to be close. It's going to be week eighteen all over again. Can't roll out Anthony Brown in the, in the playoffs. I'm sorry. All right, but yeah, Bengals winning this game. Yeah, no. So the Bengals will advance to the second to the divisional round. Uh, where are we going? Char- uh, Chargers, Jaguars. Yep, I'll let you monologue on this one. I, I do think the Chargers should win this game pretty handily, to be honest. Chargers are going to win this game. The matchup in Week Four. Uh, this was Justin Herbert's first game after having what 14 broken, or whatever the heck happened to his ribs and the rip. The, Did the he just have 14 ribs? How many? Yeah. How many on each side? I was about to say, like, yeah, I don't think it would be 14. Like that. that <laughs> don't you have six? Three, four, five, six. Is it six on each side? Uh, Google can tell us. I don't know. All right. Anyway, we're not medical professionals. But anyway, after Chess Herber broke his ribs, his first game off of that, you could clearly see he was bothered. No Rashawn Slater, no Joey Bosa. I don't think Keenan Allen played in this game either. A lot of injuries. I don't. I don't think we had Corey Lindsley. I, I had no BS. I don't think the Chargers had anybody fully healthy really for this game against uh, against Jaguars in Week Four. This is a different Chargers team as the Jags are faced this time around. The Chargers defense is rolling, is firing on all cylinders. Justin Herbert is starting to play excellent football once again, and Keenan Allen is back. Gerald Everett's been big time. Austin freaking Eckler's been huge all season long. I like the Chargers to win this game and get the first. Playoff victory in the Justin Herbert Brandon Staley era. Yeah, I, I would agree with you. And, and let me add to this uh, conversation with just one one thing. Let's things. go. Hold on, my bad, my bad. Rashawn Slater, as we are recording live, Rashawn Slater biceps torn bicep has been designated for return from IR. Let's freaking go! Heck yeah, my bad. Keep going. Two things. Two things. Um, number one, the Jags' offensive line has actually looked pretty good um, this season, especially their tackles. But Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa may have something else to say about that. And the second thing I have is 24 ribs. We've got 24 ribs. So, there we go. You know, maybe he – what was it, rib cartilage? Maybe he broke a lot of rib cartilage or something. Yeah. Um, as to avoid spoilers, although I guess we kind of already spoiled it, Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills, two it doesn't play Bills all the way, probably by 50. Um, if Tua plays, I, th- I I think I'm you know pretty safe to say that the the Bills are going to win this one. Uh, Sean, what do you think would make it really close for the Dolphins? Uh, Tua playing on that's their best shot. I mean, like Tua Tua being a hundred percent. Like if Tua is at like for some re- some illegal reason, he's like eighty five percent playing. Like he yeah, can't really be eighty five percent with concussion in play. <laughs> like your angle could be you know eighty five percent. And you could still play, but yeah, yeah the, the head's a little different. Um, yeah, but no, I think the answer is they've got to come out the gate with big shots quickly. Yeah, honestly, um, I, I think Tyree's really banged up. Like you got to make sure everybody's fully healthy, ready to go. And again, yeah, two has to play. Or like, okay, if he's good, if he's good, two has to play. If he's not yeah. good, then you're screwed. And you're gonna lose by a thousand. But uh, yeah, so the Chargers advance and the Dolphins advance. I mean, sorry, the Bills advance. So we got. A couple of great division round matchups. The, these four division round matchups, Warner, could, could all be play. worthy of like an yeah. NFC or a conference championship game. That's how big time these four games are from the NFC and then the AFC. Let's start up top. Chiefs, Chargers in Kansas City. Chiefs coming off a bye. Uh, how many yards? Well, the the over under, uh, let's say over under 149 and a half for Travis Kelsey, Sean. Screw you. Um, no, I mean, look, we, we, we did a good job on Kelsey that first time around um, over. <laughs> he is just a chargers killer that that's all Travis Kelsey is. Um, this is going to be the best game of this weekend. Uh, I, I know Bill's Bengals is going on, but the, rematch? Third, the I mean, I, 
I know no that Bills Bengals game is gonna have the narrative behind it. I feel that that's gonna have the best story. This is gonna be the best game. Justin Herbert, I, Patrick, I, dude, you saw how the Bengals eight or seventy five yards right down the field touchdown. Bills right down the field. Bengals defense holds strong with Lou, Lou Arumo holds strong, <laughs> holds him to three. Bengals are driving right back down the field when the game was canceled. I mean. Bills are going to be extra juiced up as well because they're playing the ba- – it's not like it was the Bengals' fault or anything, but they're still going to be juiced up. Like, you know yeah. how it is. Uh, is this going to be a neutral team. site? What? Is this a neutral site? No. I think – well, they have the exact same record, don't they? No. No, the Bills have one more. Yeah, Bills are 13-3. and three. This is a neutral site, I think. That's That's corny. Anyway – um <laughs> look all, everything you're saying Warner I agree with you that's why it's the best story like the Bengals Bills game is got the best feel the best narrative it's gonna be it's gonna be 42 to 39 final bro the chart the chart here's what's gonna happen here's what's gonna happen it's gonna be 45 42 the Chargers right? Chiefs game is gonna be what 35 31 or something like you that. Let me let me up the score. It's gonna be 48 45. All right. The Bengals are gonna get the ball on OT, drive down, have to settle for three. The Bills are gonna get the ball. They're gonna go down. Josh Allen's gonna get avenged from not having not touching the ball in overtime and score a touchdown and walk it off. Again, you're describing the story. All right, all right. All right. Let's, let's just let's talk about this one real quick because we both have the Bengals winning this. Uh, yeah. We both have the Bengals winning this one. But uh, I do think it's going to be a phenomenal game. Uh, we're looking at uh, just a monster, a monster game. I, I think all offense here. Yeah. I mean, like 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 I said, like the point we were getting at there, these two games are going to be probably two the two best games of the entire playoffs. And if it's not the best, it's going to be because of what the AFC championship game is potentially. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no Bengals bills. I mean, like it's going to be a, a lot of offense. Um, I just no Von Miller. I don't trust the bills to get enough pressure on Joe Burrow, but at the same time, him. man, Josh Allen is him. He's him. And, and uh, I think the bills high power offense be able to put enough points, but I think it's going to come down to which quarterback gets the ball in their hands last. Josh Allen has a, just has rough luck. Give me the Bengals. I think the Bengals advance to the AFC Championship game. Yep. All right, Chiefs Chargers. Um, Chargers are going to give them a run for their money. I think Chiefs probably win about 28 24. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, bro, like, and it sucks. It's, just, it's going to be another tough loss for the Chargers. <laughs> it's it's just, a- it, it always happens. That's just, it's, it is what it is. It's written in the Constitution, Bill of Rights, Chiefs beat the Chargers in a, uh, a coin toss. I mean, no, like, like they're gonna. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. Verbatim, roll the tape back when, when after this game. Here's what's gonna happen. The Chiefs are gonna go score. So we said final score 28 24. Okay, cool. Chiefs are gonna go score a touchdown. Not nah, and make it like 21 17 or whatever. You know what? I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it 31 28. Okay, that's even better. Let's say Chiefs go score a touchdown to make it 24 21 31 20. Chiefs to make yeah, it. Touchdown and get it huh chargers go for two and get it okay so chiefs they score a touchdown to make it 24 21 right going for two here is stupid by the way thanks brandon staley um <laughs> three minutes you want, you want to be up by oh wait no you score a touchdown here it doesn't matter wait 24 21 yeah yeah it well, doesn't no, because the chiefs the chiefs get a i don't know I, it, I don't it, know. It, it makes those anyway, anyway chiefs going to touchdown there there's go. gonna be there's three go. minutes left Chargers are going to walk down the field and score, but they're going to leave a minute and 20 left, and Patrick Mahomes is going to drive right down the field. And they're going to run the two-minute offense instead of the four-minute offense. They're going to score. They're going to have the lead. Mahomes is going to avoid, like narrowly avoid Bosa for a sack and scramble. And throw a and touchdown and they're going to win the game. Yeah, and then they're yeah. just going to – probably Jarek McKinnon is going to catch the receiving touchdown to win the game. Uh, talk about a role. Jarek McKinnon has been on a tear. Chiefs, um, as much as it pains me to say, Kansas City's going to probably win this game. I think that's going to be, though, once once again, another classic Chargers-Chiefs great game where both quarterbacks play their butts off. Uh, Chiefs-Bengals, yeah. AFC Championship game. It's about time Pat Mahomes beats Joe Burrow. <laughs> you really think the Bengals are going to go 4-0 in the last two years against the Chiefs? I mean, not, not even two years. Certainly it's possible. And, and I think – 
Honestly, they might be favored. Maybe. But no, because, this would be a neutral because, site. That's so again, that's so corny. If this is a neutral site game, you're like, what's the point of being the one seed? Like Kansas City now is screwed. No, Kansas City, I think Kansas City hosts no matter what. Okay, I was about to say, like, that's like yeah, unless that's, unless Buffalo made the championship because Buffalo beat him earlier. I think okay. that's that's what it would be. Okay, that's so what I think the only neutral site game would be Bengals like a Bills. Chiefs. A Chiefs Buffalo. Imagine, imagine if we had. Imagine the Ravens won in Week 18. Oh my God! The chaos. Game against the Bengals. The Bengals chaos. win that neutral site game against the Bills. Bills win that neutral no, site it, game. It, it, it would have been a coin toss to decide home field for right. Bengals. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Coin toss. Honestly, you might as well just play a neutral site game. That's even more corny. But uh, give me the you give me the Chiefs. Let's just bench all the starters and and play the back 14 of the roster. <sighs> Screw you, NFL. All right, give me the Chiefs to win. Finally, and uh, Pat Mahomes is going to beat the one guy that he hasn't been able to beat yet. Little score prediction? Were you thinking 35 uh, something like that? I think, honestly, 38-31. I think 38-31. 38-31. Same, if same, same scenario, miss, though, like late. If you've got to miss any games, miss the NFC games. I mean, these AFC games in the second, they're, they're going to be so good. If you can only watch two games a weekend – Watch the two AFC divisional round games, and then watch the two championship games. Screw the Pro, Pro Bowl. Watch the Super Bowl. I mean, it's, yeah. we're we're talking some amazing football. Um, I guess hopefully the Dolphins and the Ravens don't upset the Bengals and Bills because otherwise, it's gross. if the Dolphins and Ravens won, if the Dolphins upset the Bills, the Chiefs would probably win by thirty. That means it'll be Dolphins, Chiefs, Chargers, Ravens in LA. Screw it. Let's go. I'll, go, I'll take I'll take, the, uh, I'll take the Chiefs in the AFC Championship. Ah, oh, crap! I'm gonna do it. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it, you'd still lose the Chiefs either way. <laughs> um, as a recap, though, uh, looking at your NFC and AFC sides, Eagles, Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Um, you know, everyone was clamoring for Eagles, Bills. You know, all the memes early season. The you know NFL's infrastructure, our infrastructure is not ready for this Super Bowl. I think the infrastructure is going to be all right, but hey, just remember the Chiefs fans, especially their super fans, going around robbing banks, fighting each other. Um, they're crazy too. Chiefs, Eagles in Glendale, Arizona. Or yeah, Glendale. You're going to be there. Who wins? Say it I with me, Sean. Say it with me. I, I think Kansas City wins their second Super Bowl in the Patrick Mahomes era. It's, as much as I'm pulling for Jalen Hurts, because I can't stand Kansas City. Two great defenses. Um, the Eagles have a really good defense. Possibly a great defense. Possibly a Super Bowl championship defense. What? But Patrick Mahomes and, and Travis Kelly, it, wouldn't it suck for Tyreek Hill to leave? And then they'd win a Super Bowl. That would just stink. But Mahomes is going to get a second ring. Um, and congratulations, Chiefs Kingdom. You're about to see this again. Once again. <laughs> check, check out the bottom right of that picture. Travis Kelsey just yelling into the microphone. Do Once not wear again. headphones. Once again, I am e easily rooting for the Eagles in this scenario. I think, honestly, the Eagles' corners could really give the Chiefs some trouble and, like, you know, simplify the game down, and like you really have to just look, focus in on Kelsey. Um, Who's covering? Ke do honestly, honestly, give me your honest opinion. I know you know the Bengals use Trey Flowers against a lot of tight ends. The Chargers have Derwin James. Uh, frequently, it's a really good safety that that matches up against the elite tight ends, specifically Travis Kelsey. Do you put? Darius Slay in the box. I was just thinking. I was going to say, like, hey, big play. Oh, Slay. I this think he's just... big enough. I think he's physical enough. The only question is, what what's he look like against the run? If he that's, what was, that's what I was going to say. Like, hey, big play. Say, here you go. That's what you get paid the big money for. You feel like Super Bowl, you got to go lock up whoever their best player is. is Travis Kelsey. So go ahead. You got to take that assignment. Because if I don't trust anybody else. I mean, I guess you can maybe go. I like, was about to say maybe CJ Gardner Johnson. I thought about but, it. I, like, yeah. I mean, you know, he's played a lot of nickel. He plays safety, came out of college as a safety. 
But he's like 5'9", isn't he? I mean, he's a great player. I think they'll probably start off with, with Chauncey, but I think there's going to come a point in the game where, like, uh, with, with Rich Gannon and Nick Sirianni are going to have to be like, big play, go get him. You know, yeah. send the hounds. But, yeah, man, I, I think Kansas City wins this game. I think this will be a great game. Once again, like, the the the, the championship games, the Super Bowl, and the AFC Divisional round, you can – Put a snooze fest on most of this uh, the wild card games, but when you get to that divisional I know it's round, super wild card weekend. No, 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 no. But no, like, no, no. But it's no, this, super AFC divisional round. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but um, so yeah, Kansas City Chiefs. We have them winning the Super Bowl. Comment down below. What are your picks? Thank you guys so so much for watching. As always, stay safe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.